Then there was the fight of the year against Razor Ruddock. They slugged it out for 12 brutal rounds with both men hitting the canvas. Tyson eventually won, proving his heart and chin were as strong as his punches. Mike Tyson. Just hearing that name sends chills down your spine. He wasn't just a boxer, he was a force of nature. Tyson became a global icon, feared and respected in equal measure. He earned the nickname, the baddest man on the planet for a reason. He dominated the boxing world like few others ever have. What made Tyson so captivating? Sure, the guy could throw a punch, but it went beyond just boxing. It was his aura, his intensity, the way he carried himself with an almost animalistic ferocity. Tyson's story is far from a fairy tale. He battled poverty, faced legal troubles, and struggled with personal demons. But through it all, there was an undeniable magnetism about him. He was raw, he was real, and he was impossible to ignore. Even today, long after his fighting days are over, Mike Tyson's legacy remains powerful. He is a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome adversity and achieve greatness, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Mike Tyson's journey began in the tough streets of Brooklyn, New York. Life wasn't easy. He got caught up in trouble, ending up in a juvenile detention center. It was there he met someone who would change his life, Bobby Stewart, a former boxer and counselor. Stewart saw something special in the troubled young Tyson. He saw raw talent, a fighter's spirit. Stewart introduced Tyson to legendary trainer Kus D'Amato, and that's when everything changed. D'Amato didn't just teach Tyson how to box, he became his mentor, his guardian, almost a father figure. He instilled in Tyson discipline, focus, and a belief in his own abilities. Under D'Amato's guidance, Tyson blossomed. He turned pro at just 18 years old, a force to be reckoned with from the start. His rise was meteoric. He tore through opponents, winning fight after fight by knockout. The boxing world took notice. A star was born. Mike Tyson's highlight reel reads like a who's who of boxing legends. He fought them all and beat most of them. Let's talk about some of his most memorable fights. One fight everyone remembers is the showdown with Trevor Burbick. Tyson, just 20 years old at the time, demolished Burbick in two rounds to become the youngest heavyweight champion in history. It was a statement victory. Then there was the fight of the year against Razor Ruddock. They slugged it out for 12 brutal rounds with both men hitting the canvas. Tyson eventually won, proving his heart and chin were as strong as his punches. Of course, we can't forget the Buster Douglas fight. It was the biggest upset in boxing history. Tyson, undefeated and seemingly invincible, was knocked out in the 10th round. It was a stunning defeat, but it showed that even Iron Mike was human. Despite some setbacks, Tyson's record speaks for itself. He fought 58 times, winning 50, with 44 of those wins coming by knockout. Those numbers don't lie. The man was a knockout artist. What made Mike Tyson such a devastating fighter? It wasn't just his power, it was his unique style. He fought from a peekaboo stance, his gloves held high, bobbing and weaving, making him a difficult target to hit. He was like a coiled spring, exploding with incredible speed and power. His punches came from unexpected angles, catching opponents off guard. Tyson's style was a mix of raw power and surprising agility. He would slip under his opponent's punches, get inside, and unleash devastating combinations to the head and body. It was mesmerizing to watch. His knockout power was legendary. One punch could end a fight. Opponents knew this, and it created a psychological advantage for Tyson. They were often defeated before the first bell even rang. Section 5 Training like a gladiator. Mike Tyson's success wasn't just about natural talent, it was about hard work. The man was a training machine. He lived a disciplined life, pushing himself to the limit day in and day out. His training regime was legendary. We're talking hours upon hours of intense workouts, running, sparring, lifting weights, hitting the heavy bag, you name it, he didn't cut corners. Tyson's diet was strictly controlled. He ate clean, fueling his body for peak performance. He understood that to be the best, he had to make sacrifices and take care of himself both inside and outside the ring. 
His commitment to training was unmatched. He was always striving to improve, to become faster, stronger, more unpredictable. It was this dedication that made him the champion he was. Section 6, Beyond the Ring, Tyson's Legacy. Mike Tyson's influence extends far beyond the boxing ring. He became a cultural phenomenon. He was everywhere, in movies, on TV shows, in video games. He even had his own cartoon. His catchphrases, like, I'm the baddest man on the planet and I'll eat your children, became part of popular culture. People who had never even seen a boxing match knew who Mike Tyson was. He transcended the sport, becoming a global icon. His image was used to sell everything from clothing to video games. Tyson was a marketing dream, but Tyson's legacy is complex. He was a convicted felon, spending time in prison for rape. He struggled with personal demons and made mistakes. His story is a reminder that even the greatest athletes are human. Section 7. Facing His Demons Mike Tyson's life hasn't been all sunshine and roses. He's battled some serious demons outside the ring. We're talking addiction, legal troubles, and personal loss. He's been open and honest about his struggles. He's talked about how he used drugs and alcohol to cope with the pressures of fame and his own inner demons. He's also talked about the anger he carried for years. But here's the thing about Tyson. He's a survivor. He's owned up to his mistakes. He's worked hard to turn his life around. He's become an advocate for mental health awareness. Tyson's story is a reminder that everyone makes mistakes. It's what you do after those mistakes that defines you. Section 8. The Undisputed King Mike Tyson will forever be remembered as one of the greatest boxers of all time. He was a once-in-a-generation talent, a force of nature who captivated the world. He was the epitome of power, speed, and aggression. He had that aura, that aura of invincibility, especially in his prime. Love him or hate him, you couldn't take your eyes off him. He was must-see TV every time he stepped into the ring. Today, Tyson is a changed man. He's found peace in his life. He's still involved in boxing, but he's also pursuing other passions. He's a successful businessman, a podcaster, and an actor. Mike Tyson's story is one of triumph and tragedy, of incredible highs and devastating lows. But through it all, he's remained an icon, a legend who will forever be known as the baddest man on the planet.